everyone, I'm Cindy at Long Time No See. Today I will be introducing you to a new smartphone and that is the Samsung Galaxy S3. How exciting right? So let's just cut the chase and get into the details. I'm going to just look at their shape first. So as you can see the S3 shape is has an oval edge to its appearance but unlike the S2 right here the S2 has a square rectangular shape to it so that's the difference in shape and I just want you guys to see the iPhone for us right here is also squarey rectangular looking next we're going to compare is the size of these two smartphones S3 size is 4.8 inches and S2 right here is 4.27 inches so from this aspect we can see the S3 is bigger than the S2 let's take a look at the resolution on this two smartphone so for the S2 the resolution is 800 times 480 pixels but S3 has upgraded to 1280 times 720 pixels so now that is a big improvement and upgrade right so as you can see the resolution on the S3 right here seems to be better than the S2 you can just do a comparison like that so after the comparison let's move on to the S3's processor well S3 got some really powerful processor the S3 uses its own Samsung's 1.4 GHz Exynos quad-cooled 32 nanometer CPU not only this processor supports 1080p and also HD videos, it also enhances the image process function. Wow, that's some really powerful processor right there. So after looking at the processor, now I'm going to tell you guys about the battery usage on the S3 and do a little comparison on the S2. So for S2, it uses 1650 mAh battery, but on the S3, it has upgraded to 2100 mAh battery. So in conclusion, uh, because of the improvements on the processor and the battery, when you use S3 for online watching videos, playing games, and downloading things, um, you know, there's no problem. The connection is really fast and lagging is seldom happen on S3 because the battery has upgraded to 2100mAh battery so therefore when you use S3 the time that you can use S3 is much longer than the time that you can use on S2 so everyone now I want to um, just teach you guys how to uh, use different kind of unlock um, ways to unlock the lock screen on S3 there are different ways and um, but unlike the S2 right here you guys can see the S2 it only have a standard image to unlock the screen I mean it's like picture and or some kind of image you can put there but it's like a still image and you wish you have to swipe it to open to unlock your lock screen on S2 but Right now, the S3 have a um, different way to unlock the lock, lock screen, so right now I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. So everyone, let's look at the S3 right here. Why don't we go into the setting, and then we will go into the security, and then there is a option called the screen lock. We will go in here. So as you can see, there's so much different way to unlock your lock screen. There's a swip option, motion, face unlock, face and voice, pattern, pin, password, none. Right now I'm choosing none because I want to um, just to show you guys how to do it. So, okay, let's go into the screen lock. And here we can see all different kind of ways you can unlock your lock screen. I'm going to show you one that I think it's interesting. It's called a face unlock in which you need to set up it will ask you to put your face here so it can take a picture so here's what I'm going to do take a picture actually it's not up to you to take a picture when the uh, system feel like you've got the face in the right angle it will say face captured so press continue and then that was saved okay so okay now let's just try to unlock our lock screen with our face detection function so turn it on and now 
See, right after that, the face detection function detected my face, and then it takes us immediately into our home screen like that, super fast. Okay. Okay, guys. So now we're finally in uh, in the home screen of S3. So immediately, I mean, for myself, I noticed like there is five icons. There's an extra icon internet right here, but on S2, as you can see, ah, oh, sorry, this is really hard to. Okay, as you can see, there's only four icons right here. So there's a f um, extra icon right here. It's kind of like the Galaxy Note, which is on S3. I find that pretty, pretty cool. And right now, let's go into the notification bar. Let's scroll down. So on the top, in the previous S2, there's only five um, bar icon. But right now, there's, I think, at least 10 of them and five new different ones. As you can see, I'm going to just show you guys the S2 right here. See, on, the, on top, there's only five bar icons but on here as three it's got like a lot like ten of them and five new ones so that's a, another like upgrade right there okay okay guys so now I'm just going to do a quick comparison on the space usage that's on the s3 but because I want to actually first talk about S2 and how little of the space usage they allow us to have on S2 and so let's get on with it. So I actually have S2 for four months now but you can see that the space allowed on S2 for downloading software is only 2 GB. Um, after using it for you know four months I realized that when I download 150 software the only remaining space is like 2 to 300 MD, MB. But however, you know, on the S3 right here, I'm going to go into application manager right here. See, on the S3, it's different. With S3, you can download like as much software and games you want in correspondence with the cell phone space capacity. So I thought that's really cool because I am the kind of person who downloads a lot of music, you know, videos and install a lot of software, programs, applications. So I think, you know, without having to buy extra memory cards, just, you know, using S3 will give you all that space. So I think it's, this is really, you know, thoughtful. Then it's really better than the S2.